Welcome to uh, Reboot IT. I got a, a DV2000 that's given us the video issue. Press the power button, we get all the blue lights, but nothing on the screen. This is another NVIDIA problem, so I'm going to show you guys how I actually reflow the dreaded DV2000 series. Okay, first couple things that are going to come out. There's a battery. I also undid the uh, hard drive here and snapped the hard drive out. And we're going to take all the bottom screws out here. Remember these little screws that are right on the bottom here on the opposite side of the battery. That goes to the uh, touch plate right here for the up-down controls and power. So you got to make sure you get those out as well. We're going to pull out the CD and the memory door as well as the Wi-Fi door. Reboot sticker on there. Reboot certified. Pull out that little switch. All right. And this one was worked on before. The customer on YouTube sent it in to us and tried to fix it himself, and it's not working. That's all right. We can refer the form. All right. We're going to pull off this CPU, and I'm going to bring it over to the Rework IRD workstation. All right, we're over at the rework station. <clears throat> the reason why I got the screen here is they actually soldered in one of the connections from the webcam into the board. Kind of silly, but I guess it must have gave up on it. Right now I'm putting some liquid flux under the chip. Pull this up, maybe you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, liquid flux, it's alcohol based. And that's a no mess flux. There we go. I just do it till I see it peek out on the other side. Alright, I just rock that back and forth. This is this ensures that I get a good flow. And we definitely want to have a good flow so this chip lasts and it's a permanent fix. Um, bring this down over the chip, bring down our eye guard and turn on the juice. If you guys are curious, I'm running this at 240 degrees centigrade. Should be about 
out good. Okay, now that it's flowed, what we're gonna do is add copper. This is a giant roll of copper. Uh, people ask me all the time, what's the thickness of the copper? Well, you can kind of see here, this is, I'd say, maybe twice, if not three times the thickness of a Coke can. This is about 40 pounds of copper. And we pick up big rolls of, of copper, pure, pure stuff. So if you guys need copper, shoot me an email and I'll hook you up. I can't stress enough, you need a good thermal compound. You want to get yourself some Arctic silver or better. Nano silver is good too. Uh, we use that here in the shop. Um, what I'm doing right now is putting some, this is some thick electrical tape, just to make sure when I put the silver, uh, I'm sorry, uh, copper over top, it don't short out, because it's a very big piece of copper. Again, don't skimp on the copper, that's going to drop the uh, temperature of the GPU. The more, the better. Just make sure that you safeguard against short outs, because Copper is very conductive and could definitely lead to some issues for you. There we go. Beautiful. That one I'm going to position just towards the end so it's going to catch part of that fan. And again, it's all taped up so I don't have to worry about any short out issues. There we are. Just going to bolt them down. Okay, as you can see here, it's just peeking through a little bit, that copper. Just enough to make it to the end of the board, so it's going to get blown on. And at the top here, I'm going to actually bend this up and around the heat sink. This is going to actually grab some air from the top of the, uh, the venting, from the, uh, the uh, rather the, the bottom of the laptop. Again, the more copper in this, the better. It's going to keep it cooler. But that's, that's it now. We're just going to test it out. Right, I'm just going to sit this just good enough so I can test it. I'm going to put the power in uh, and hook up the, the power switch, obviously. And we're going to want to put in our video so we can see what's going on. Hopefully we got video. If we don't get video, this might need to be completely re -bold. And that's not too much fun. Let's see. Switch. Alright. Some juice. There. Hopefully you guys can see. We got lights. Hopefully the HP logo. There we go. HP, beautiful. He's fixed. Now I just got to put it all back together. Just remember guys, before you put it all together and put the final bolts in, test your unit. Make sure everything works. Make sure you get sound. Make sure you can log into the system. Um, this, the worst thing is to actually put the whole system back together, go to power up and something doesn't work and you're going to pull the whole thing apart and put it all back together, it's a nuisance. So before you have it all together, boot it up, test all the aspects of this system. If everything's good, put in the, the final screws. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, DV2000, we get an awful lot of these in. Been wanting to do a video for a little bit on it. Um, the major issue with these guys is they're really small. That video chips real close to the CPU and they use an aluminum heat sink instead of copper. What a silly design. Um, next thing we are going to be working on in the upcoming videos, we're actually going to make a couple incisions on the bottom and put another fan on the bottom. That's coming up pretty soon and that'll be an upgrade to the existing fan that's in there. So it'll run in conjunction. Always, if you have a DV series laptop, get one of those thermal pads. If you opt for us to do the fix, for $10 more, we can throw in a thermal pad that it'll sit on. All right, thanks, guys.